Um, okay, this video is going to be about the backstory to We Want a Rock by They Might Be Giants. And here I, I'm, I'm looking at my uh, screen here. And I just basically have that information right here. I guess I don't even really have to read it, but I will. I'll just go ahead and read it anyway, even though I don't have to. Okay. So you can hear me reading it. Because it makes you feel good to hear me read the words that I wrote, right? Okay, fifth grade was the last grade I attended at CCA, Chicago Christian Academy. The Orthodox Christian private school that finally flunked me out and expelled me this particular year. Uh, the rules and codes were so restrictive I was no longer able to function within them. As my mind simply did not fit inside the box we were expected to remain confined to, I couldn't get into it at all. <laughs> I lost all interest in pretending to want to participate and when asked what I wanted, I told them I wanted a rock. When I was asked what I wanted it for, perhaps they expected me to say to crawl under, but instead I said to wind a piece of string around. <laughs> and <clears throat> I gave them this song. And I was impossible to reach at that point as they had to get rid of me. Um, the school... Before I turn on the cab, alright? I don't give a fuck. Okay. Do I, do I look or sound like I give a fuck? Okay, anyway. As I was saying, um, the school I went to after that was Lutheran, and I continued writing songs for the Mega Giants there also. The piggy bank containing $7 referenced in this song was an actual piggy bank I had $7 saved up in. The prosthetic forehead was a metaphor for time wasted on holding thoughts which turn into something useless and ridiculous. I was forced to break the piggy bank to pay for something I needed for school that was supposed to be paid for by my mother, who was jealous of my intelligence in saving money. So when I broke the thing, I put a broken part of it on my forehead as a means of showing that she failed to break my spirit because I used this as an opportunity to create a new innovation that would benefit the world. They Might Be Giants lyrics are criticized for being gibberish that its target fan base thinks is profound. Erroneously, I myself am in agreement with this criticism. There is no reason to think the lyrics to this song, for example, are profound. You either just know it or you don't. Where I'll just sing it. I'll just sing it. I'll just sing it to myself without no music. Where was I? I forgot the point that I was making. I said if I was smart that I would save up for a piece of string and a rock to wind the string around. Everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. Throw the crib door wide, let the people crawl inside. Someone in this town is trying to burn the playhouse down. They want to stop the ones who want to rock to wind the string around. But everybody wants a rock to wind a piece of string around. If I was a carpenter, I'd hammer on my piglet. I'd collect the seven dollars and I'd buy a big prosthetic forehead and wear it on my real head. Everybody wants prosthetic foreheads on their real heads. Okay, I've sang enough of that song. And now I will uh, end this video. Which was made by me, Adrian, as a craft. 
on behalf of uh, Mr. Kevin Riley, President of Turner Broadcasting, who requested uh, that I make it because he wanted to know. share them with other people too, so he sort of encouraged me to to post these vlogs on YouTube about this, and I was supposed to follow certain guidelines, you know, like I'm not supposed to be blowing my nose and smoking cigarettes and stuff like that on my videos, but you can't do that. You don't have the authority to tell me how to present myself on my YouTube channel, which I created. I created YouTube, okay? And my slogan for YouTube is broadcast yourself, right? I'm not broadcasting your uh, projection of who you want me to be. I'm broadcasting myself. That's right. So, um, if it offends you, tough fucking tits, bitch. You're a sad fucking state of affairs, aren't you? It's sad that you hate yourself as much as you do, Kevin. It's really unfortunate. But anyway, I, I um, did put this video out here for uh, everyone who wants this information. Disregarding my um, negative attitude. Uh, these are tired old stories. Um, and people who haven't heard this stuff before um, will um, have a compromised experience you know, having to hear it through the filter of, of tiredness and. Uh, attitudes and you know, uh, the hatred and jealousy of other people um, because they did not want me to bring this up. They wanted me to just keep my mouth shut and not speak about this so that they could keep all the money and all the glory and all the credit. Some of them um, were so um, distraught over being exposed that they committed suicide. I have a lot of musicians that are now dead <laughs> that have committed suicide over these things because I, I, ca I called them out on their lies, you know, saying that they, they're, ones, they're the ones that wrote these songs when, when it wasn't them. It was, in fact, me, and I have, you know, the means to prove it. I have the memory to share about what's behind it. So, you know, you got Kurt. Uh, over there, who killed himself over this. You got Lane Staley, you got Shannon Hoon, you got Chris Cornell. Um, a lot of people, man. It's it's kind of silly, if you really think about it. It's really kind of silly. Um, but it, it, whatever, I mean, it is what it is. You know? uh, they might be giants. Well, they killed themselves too, because what they did was... They uh, produced uh, uh, music for cartoon that enables racial profiling and racism. See? That's a suicide note. That's a fatal error. That's a mistake that you can't fix. It's, it's terminal. They won't take down the site. You know, they're, they're too proud. You know, so that's, that's a coffin nail right there. They're done. They're terminal now. Karma's coming their way. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, they're the only ones that can redeem themselves and they won't do it. They're terminal. They're terminal spoilers. So, um, it is what it is, and, and this is still my work. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, uh, retract and <clears throat> abandon my claim to to my um, songs. Because they're my songs, and my motives 
our um, our uh, uh, dignified. Okay, my motives behind writing these songs are dignified. You see, this this wasn't about uh, telling nigger jokes to kids through a cartoon and making money selling merchandise of the characters that tell them these nigger jokes and, and make them masturbate to pornography while, while telling each other nigger jokes and, and um, um, sexual innuendos towards children by adults. I, I, I mean, these things are present in, in that cartoon that was produced by Mike and Matt Chapman. See, they did this stuff. Okay. And that's why my name is not on it. See, that's why they don't have the right to say my name and use my name. I'm the one that has the right to say my name and use my name and uh, disclose my motives for doing what I did in the process of profiling them and exposing them. Okay? That's right. That's right. Did I do the right thing? I know I did the right thing. I don't need anybody to tell me that I did that I did or didn't do the right thing because I know. I know what I did and I know that what I did was the right thing. I don't need nobody to validate that. For me. Okay. I'm 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 observing I'm observing this myself. I'm observing the consequences of their actions and reaping the benefits of mine on my own. Okay, I know what's right. Okay, I don't need anybody to validate my intelligence. <laughs> if they're not capable of doing so, I don't need it. You see? My survival intelligence is autonomous, is independent, see, that's right, that's right, so, if you guys want to rock, you can have one, you can smoke crack all day until you're in your fucking grave, and that's your business. So anyway, that's the end, that's the end of my rant about uh, um, yeah that song there. We want to rock. We want to rock. Thank you for uh, <laughs> watching, listening, whatever you're doing. Scratching your beard, <sighs> saying saying things to yourself like "What the hell?" 